Just imagine, by the next 100 or probably 50 years, we would be capable and developed enough to travel to different planets. We would have built communities on other planets and living there. It would be just a jiffy to say that, hey, you know, I am going to visit Mars next weekend. We could play, jump and enjoy other planets with our friends. Well, that's too far planning, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be fun? For that, we have to first know everything about the planet. If we focus on inhabiting, we need to know about the geological and atmospheric conditions of the planet its radiological experiences as well as the gravitational pull, magnetic properties and availability of resources for sustenance of life. As well as we have to plan our travel back and forth. Exactly! That's what we have made our project for. This project can take us one step forward to our dream of living on other planets. Our group the science and programming, research and analysis skills abbreviated SPARC presents our project the SPARC Peregrinator. This project is based on the 2021 CBSE ISRO AIM Collab 8 Year Space Challenge theme Inhabiting Space, created with 3D technology. Designed for IoTs and sensors technology for working. The Spark Ferry Grenator is a multifunctional external rover focused on detecting and supplying important data that are important for inhabiting space, not just life, but also those on the basis of which we can plan our journey to the planet and safely back home. In further circumstances, once we have landed on our target, this can serve as the astronaut's space pet to enter small places and retrieve data. It's been made cost-effective as compared to the other artificial celestial bodies and small, thus reducing the stress of payload and arrangement of components. Our project has been exhibited as a 3D model created with computer-aided designing software. It has been designed to be equipped with advanced IoT and sensor technology with the Atmega 328P microcontroller-based Arduino Uno module serving as its central processing unit. Its features and functions are driven with two motor control modules, the L298N placed inside and another micro module on the back beside an IR sensor. The advanced technological integration has an infrared sensor in case it serves as a remote sensing space pit and it works on an RF module transmitter to transmit data to the nearest DSM connectors that could be placed on a lander or MSAT. Its power system is based on two 1.5 volt cells recharged with three solar panels which are tilted at 0, 20 and 45 degree angles for all season harnessing of solar energy. This rover, though small and light in weight, has been heavily equipped with sensors for perfection and increase in usefulness. First, let us come to the complex and advanced salient features one by one. It has two triple pivot arms fixed with micro servo modules to increase its range of operation. The arms hold a camera and a digger. On the front face of the rover is attached a patch microstrip antenna that can study the ambient radiological conditions as well as geological conditions like soil properties or even make earthquake predictions as latest researches made it possible on Earth. This is going to be really an important data collection about the planet we are planning to inhibit. It has a triple axis magnetometer and accelerometer for measuring the magnetic pull and acceleration of the planet. 
These data are meant to plan the establishment of rocket bases on the surface of the planet in future. Besides these, there are some regular specializations in peregrinator's design. The left arm of the rover has a CMOSIR camera module of 728 by 488 picture size attached to a single horned micro servo. This camera can be rotated in any intended direction that can be defined with pre-programmed settings or even controlled with IR remote radiations. We have designed it with a sharp TYOA O2 distance sensor module at the head programmed to avoid obstacles, crashing, colliding or falling in craters or pits. This is a very important and unavoidable feature to make it capable of autonomous service. It has specialized all-terrain fields with a special framework to distribute the load structured with a metal or PVC framework, where each wheel has an electric motor leading to six wheel drive power generation. The framework works on fulcrums so that all wheels can turn absolutely independent of the body as well as other wheels. It can overcome any terrain with the least jerk applied on the body and the body is forever at zero degree angle, irrespective of whatever it has to go over. It also has a small growth temperature sensor for recording the temperature variation along different latitudes at different times of the day and the year. It has a digger grip in one of the arms to pick and carry soil and rock samples to designated positions and if needed place it in the glove specimen box. The soccerless anti-jerk feature of the wheel helps the arm to carry anything safely without dropping out. Being a 3D design, we couldn't test it on ground, but the structuring can impart enough confidence to run not only on ground, but also on other planets with proper physics and algorithm in post. We can be among the very first countries to set up habitation on extraterrestrial surfaces and this is one step towards that. It has been made fully scientific along with all designs and placements. And believe me, it will work. <laughs>